and we're on how is everybody doing guys i haven't been around for a while busy working covid19 kids at home shitty weather so uh yeah apologies for not posting any video uploading any video for the past i don't know two months or something today's video originally was about uh i was trying to see how many perch i can catch in one hour i had one hour to go on the bank my wife was out for dinner so she gave me one hour and honestly i caught nothing besides one little tiny perch where she actually slipped the hook you can actually see it here in the video i just had to put it in because it's the, it's the only fishing video that i had for the past two months i literally didn't go out fishing so um you 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 know your benefit is that you're getting this video instead of a boring fishing video i'm going to teach you today how to make the easiest way to make a fishing leader it doesn't get more simple than that if you want to make your own leader obviously you can go and you can buy your own leader if you want to spend your hard-earned money on uh some titanium or metal or, or whatever fluoro leader that is going to cost you probably 15 times for more than what it costs the maker to make but the idea today is to let you see to, to show you how to make um a very good leader for a very low budget and um you know i'm going to choose a, a, a fluoro diameter which is suitable for pike or for big zander but you can just change it and use for yourself a smaller one that that uh, fits the type of fish that you want to so anyway let's ju jump right into it i want to keep it short to the point and let's go let me show you how it works okay so here's what you're going to need you we're, we're using fluorocarbon for this leader so you're going to need fluoro carbon buy yourself some fluoro this uh this specific one is from berkeley it is um it's a 0.74 millimeter diameter 22.7 kilo break so it's quite a heavy one i don't know if you can see in camera a little bit how it looks like but it's something like I don't know if the camera will be able to zoom on it. I think so, yeah. It's a heavy one. So I'm using this for rather big fish. Um, I'm not promoting Barkley here, but I really like this one. So, you know, there you go. If you want to buy the exact same one. But this is just as good. I'm using this one for smaller fish like small perch. Um, and it does affect your presentation. So you, if you're going light, you want to use a light, uh, light fishing leader underline. If you're going heavy on big fish, then you want to use a heavy one. Um, you're going to need forceps. You are going to need a, a cutter or a nail cutter, better than scissors. I will explain in a second why. Another important thing you're going to need is, I think it's called a snap swivel. Let's see if it zooms in on it. Yeah almost there you're almost there yes you're gonna need this snap swivel let me show you it looks like that it's very you can you can find them anywhere very easy to buy those now I recommend always to use this thing this one and not the actual one with the swivel like this it's very hard to show but I'm trying and the reason is that this is just going to totally screw up your presentation okay so here's how it's done you start by taking a, a nice amount of material. So starting here, I'd go and take about 30 centimeters, right? Have enough, you know, enough material here. You're going to need to work and, and you need to have some, uh, some margin. So that's where this one comes in, cut it. Sorry right again there you go get rid of this and that's just the first part what do we do now very simple we attach the snap swivel so we take this one and we will create a knot which is called the uni knot or the double uni knot depends which part of the world you're from and i'm going to try with it to show you in camera it's not easy because the camera is between me and the materials but i'll do my best so first step just go through swivel like this let it dangle so okay then what you do is you create a loop G give yourself enough enough material enough uh, slack you create a loop so step one it will look like this i'm, I'm left-handed so i'm gonna have to hold it this way okay it's just dangling there now you take the tag 
and you bring it up here and what you do is you have those two lines crossing and you start to bring it in between so that's one and then I really hope you can see this and that was a waste of time two okay I'll do three times but you need to do at least five or six all right just for the just for the tutorial so three times and you currently have something that looks like that now what you do is you hold here you pull this one right so you have kind of like a, a hanging loop let's say and what you want to do is now pull the tag and close this loop but first you want to moisturize it so use some saliva or water like so and now start to bring this down like that you pull you pull you pull until you can't pull anymore and that's actually where I'll be using my forceps so I'm gonna hold the tag here like this I'm gonna hold this one here and I'm just gonna pull the hell out of it I'm gonna pull and pull till I can't pull anymore and now now it looks like that let me try to show you you got yourself your knot your uni knot your double uni knot even you cut the tag just like so close enough and that's part one this is the and the rest of it that's part one okay basically your leader is ready um, I am going to show you how to attach this to your fishing line now okay so I'll flip the camera over for this one I think it's going to be easier I'm going to show you how to connect your the other part of the leader so this part to the uh, to the fishing line and we're going to use for that um, a knot which is called crazy Albert or crazy Alberto whatever so what you do is you do this you fold the leader like that so you have the tag here and the line here okay you pinch it here like this take the fishing line this is a small diameter of the line sorry for the mess one second okay and pass it through this loop here now once you did it once you did that start flipping it around one two three make it ten times I'm gonna make five I'm in a bit of a mess here doesn't matter five so you've got yourself this flipped around and you take this tag and you put it again through the loop create the knot so now you have two tags one here one there and you just pull it all together forcing it against each other see like that there you go this is how it looks like hope you can see that and what you want to do now is just cut this tag here which we're going to do and there you go your leader is nicely attached to the line and you're ready to go so that's it guys that's all the leader is ready you're ready to go fishing now uh, I hope you managed to see my knots through the, uh, the camera it's a little bit difficult um, let me know let me know if you want me to make another video specifically on the knots maybe with a micro lens or something like that anyway I hope it was useful I hope that you're going to use this leader and uh, please subscribe if you're not uh, like the video leave me a comment always nice to chat with you people and uh, I'm going to go ahead now and make another video. The follow-up video will be how to attach a fly to your uh, fly line, to your uh, fly leader. So uh, if that's interesting for you, then subscribe and it will come in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time, hopefully soon. Bye-bye.